Life. L I F E. Life. That's what we are going to talk about today because we are alive and kicking and healthy. Maybe some of us are not healthy right now. But the thing is, we are alive and we should be happy about that. Right? Life. You know, sometimes I just sit down and I wonder. Why am I here? Why am I in this world? What am I called to do? Like, why was I born? You know, uh, so many questions and then you stress yourself out and you're like, oh my God, this is too much for me. Life. Life has its ups and downs, you know, glorious days, uh, wondrous days, days to be happy, and of course, it has like its downside, days to be sad, days when you, uh, where you don't have anything, you know, and nothing to eat, nothing to celebrate about, but that's life. That's how God created it to be. You know, that's how uh, everybody is. Life, 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 life. Have you ever wondered about life? Like... What, what are we doing here? What is our purpose? What is our goal to be alive, to be here, to be kicking, to be healthy, to be just be there? And that's what I've been asking myself as a young person. What is my purpose? What is my goal? What is my vision? Like, why am I here? You know, literally saying. And that's what I want us to talk about, life. Because... If we do not embrace life, right? If we do not embrace life, then life will embrace us. <laughs> and uh, what comes with life is a lot of things. The things we see are uh, all the living creatures that God created. And so today in our video, I want us to do something different. Discuss about how we can make our lives better. You know, I just want to give you like some sort of, you know, a mashup, uh, some motivation. I just want you to see yourself as another person, you know, as a better version of yourself. That's how we start celebrating life. That's how we start appreciating whatever we have. At this point in time, things might not be good right? Things might be down for you. You know, it's not always, you know, the sunny days. We don't have, always have the rain. We don't always have food on our tables. But we do survive and we have those strong characters, strong inner motivations to survive. You know, I read this book in my high school days that says, you know, the sun always rises from the east it don't matter what will happen it don't matter if it rains if it doesn't do uh whatever but the sun will always rise from the east so your life will continue being your life no matter what you do if you if if you just be there destroy your life with drugs and everything life will continue to be life you continue to be you but sometimes we we just think about having a better life living in mansions you know driving the best uh, cars most luxurious lives but have we ever asked ourselves what these people do do they just sleep without doing nothing you know so i think it's time to approach life in a different perspective and tell yourself talk to yourself motivate yourself and say no i'm not living this kind of life again i am not doing it i'm done life you was given to me free of charge and what am i giving back to you what am i feeding you right? It's time to talk to ourselves as young people, 
as all the people, as people who don't have a direction, it's time to talk back to ourselves. It's time to bring back, you know, life to ourselves. It's time to safeguard our life. It's time to develop those skills that we, we have buried, long forgotten. You know, it's time to show them that we can do it. It's time to show those people who look down upon us that we can do it. It's time to just wake up and uh, hold your head high above. You know, it's time to lift your chin up and just make yourself deaf to all those naysayers and to all those people who are saying negative things about yourself. You know, all these people who block your vision and telling you that you cannot do it, then you can never be a good person. You can never be the best version of yourself. You know, we sometimes are blinded by circumstances, whatever is happening in our lives, in our families, around our society. And we just stay there embedded in that cocoon. You know, we never have that strength to just come out strongly because we don't have that inner motivation, that inner will to just be ourselves. But I think it's time. To, uh, to just start evaluating ourselves and say enough is enough. I don't really have to live this kind of life. You know, if I'm not comfortable doing a certain thing, then I'm not doing it. If I'm not comfortable with the amount of money I'm, I'm, I'm getting, then I'm not comfortable I'm not, I, and I'm not going to do it again, you know, to do that type of job, that type of career or anything. It is time to embrace my talents. It's time to embrace what I have been blessed with. You know, what skills do you possess? How do you use those skills that you possess, right? You might not be good in academics. You might not be good in sports, but you might be good at something else. What is that craft that you are good at? What is that one thing that you can do better? That, what is that one thing that you can do and you feel so proud about yourself? How are you bringing it out? So I felt I felt that I, I have to speak about these things because, man, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know because I don't want anybody to just add on the grave with all that they have. But I think one thing that we have is fear fear of what people will say about you and fear of how people will label you. But I th at this point, I say to myself, now I think I don't care because these people don't feed me. They don't give me nothing. And when you succeed, they'll be the first people to come knocking at your door, looking for advice, looking for resources, looking for money, looking for help, right? So don't listen to people don't, if, if you know you're doing the right thing. And I bet you're doing the right thing. Just go on doing it. Continue, uh, you know, improving that craft, that skill that you have. Show the world what you got. It is only the, the, the people who work hard in whatever they are doing that, you know, uh, that gets successful. They get noticed. You cannot just sit there uh, sleeping and doing nothing and then you expect like to be a millionaire overnight or to win a lottery overnight. No, right? Those are dreams and you have to wash them away, right? Be successful. And that's what I, wanna, I want for everybody else. Everybody else who is watching this video that you can be successful in whatever aspect of life, in what, whatever you do, like do it like you're dying tomorrow. If you're a cleaner, clean like you're dying tomorrow. If you're enjoying doing that craft, do it. Just do it for yourself, do it for your family and do it for your society, right? Just go on. But before you do that, you know, before you wake up from that, that snuggle, that, that dream, you know, before you wake up from slumber, 
You need to have a goal. You need to have a vision, right? There's one thing that I wanna tell you, do not procrastinate. Do not procrastinate your blessings. Do not procrastinate your goals. Do not procrastinate your vision. Do not procrastinate those important things that you wanna do in your life. Don't say tomorrow because tomorrow will never come. I have been a victim of procrastinating things for years and years. I say, I'll do this thing, I'm not doing it. But maybe that same thing that you are procrastinating is the gateway, is the, you know, is the thing that God gave you, you know, is, is, is a blessing to you and you keep on pushing it away. So I just want to say like, if you keep on pushing away your visions and things you know that you can do better, you can, you, you can be good at, then you never be successful. You, you end up being a, a person who is depressed and complaining every, every, every other time. You know, I know uh, you'll be complaining about, you know, I don't get enough, this and that, so many things. But the problem is you. So you have to solve that problem. You have to embrace life. Life, it's your life. It's your own life. You have to talk to your life. You have to know what is that thing that I want? Why am I pushing it away? How can I embrace it? And maybe that's your breakthrough. So guys, stop procrastinating. Stop, stop. And always, always have a goal. Always have a goal and a plan for your life. So I just want every person listening to this, know that you are not a mistake or you are not here because, uh, you know, for any other reason, you are here because there was a purpose for you to be here. There was a purpose for you to be alive this, this day. But there is something special. There's something inside your life. There's something inside those blood cells, those tiny cells. There's something, there's something unique. There's something you can do, right? And I want you to bring it out, bring it out, bring it out. You know, there's something in you. And can you go and find it? Go and find it. And when you, when you find it, you'll be like amazed. You'll be like, oh my God. So this is what I've been missing all these years, all these years, all these days, all these months, just this one thing. Just go and find it. So I felt like I need to tell you guys like, oh my God, you need to make it in this life. And we need to make it together. That's why I don't wanna uh, you know, leave you behind. I want us, all of us to make it in life to be those uh, people who say, man, I found out what I really wanted to do with this life. Okay, don't just settle because everybody is going for this. Don't just go for that because everybody is saying we go this way, but have you have you taken some research and uh, you know, did you find out like why they are doing that? Okay, don't, don't, don't let people force you to do things that you don't want to do. That's it. So I'm so excited that we will embrace life and we will embrace our dreams wherever we go. Discover with Pharrell.